So a while back, I posted a video where I was playing this guitar with a lot of delay, and you guys loved it. Now in this video, I really wanna break down what I played. I wanna show you the chords and how to use the delay effect, how to set up the delay so that you can get the same effect. And by the way, guys, this video is sponsored by Lava Music. They sent me this lovely Lava ME Pro. It's such a unique guitar, and I'll probably have a video with all the specs pretty soon. So thanks a lot to Lava Music for sponsoring this video. Now, we do have a few chords. So we are in the key of B minor. And we're gonna start with, uh, you know, kind of simple chords. We have a B minor chord, an A major, and a G major chord. So it's very simple, just memorize the chord shape. Now the second time we play the chords, we're gonna add way more. So we're gonna add the second string for the B minor, uh, the fret number 10, so it's now a B minor 7 chord. For the A major, we're gonna add the A on the second string on the fret 10. And for the G, we're gonna add the F sharp, which makes this chord a beautiful G major 7 chord. So really just familiarize yourself with the chord shapes. Alright guys, let's talk delay. Uh, let me show you the delay that I like to use and how I like to set the delay for this particular video. Now I really like to use UAD plugins. This is the precision from Universal Audio, I really love it. And it's set to a dotted quaver. Now there are two things that you really have to know and control if you wanna have the same type of delay. The first one is the BPM of the song, which in this case is 120 and also this parameter, which is called time. Now it's set to 1 8, which is a dotted quaver, and in milliseconds will be 375. So what this is gonna do is gonna add the first repetition on the last 16th note of the beat, which is really interesting. So we're gonna do it with the metronome. Now I'm playing like this because I really want you to hear the delay and you see how it sounds so interesting. It works beautifully with this type of playing. Now we can make it even more interesting by playing quavers. So we're gonna play two notes per beat. And the reason why you really have to work on the palm muting technique is because you wanna control every single note. If you don't use the palm muting technique, then things get uh, way too messy. I'll show you. So two notes per beat. One and two and one and two and three and four and one. Enjoy the rest of the tutorial and have fun with the delay. Of course, the way we're gonna play these chords with the right hand is gonna make the huge uh, difference here because we wanna give some rhythm to the chords. So we're gonna play them like this. So 
we have always um, these downstrokes and each chord is played eight times. It's mainly just one string that we play, one, two, three, and then on the fourth count we're gonna play the fourth and the third string. And then we have five, six, seven, eight, always on the fourth string. I'm using the palm muting technique, so I'm muting the strings with the palm of my hand. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same thing with the other chords. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now the G major is twice, so we're gonna play like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're gonna go back to the A major on the sixth, seventh, and eighth count. Now we're gonna keep the same rhythmic pattern for the other chords. This time though we have one extra string, but the pattern is the same. One, two, three, four. So on the fourth count, I'm gonna strum the fourth, third, and second string for each chord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 So the difference is that now um, on the sixth and the seventh count, I'm gonna play a natural harmonic on the third string fret seven and the second string fret number seven. Now we can use the same strumming pattern to play other chord shapes as well. So here we have the same chord progression. We are playing a B minor seven chord, seven, seven, and seven. The A sus four chord with five, seven, and seven. And we also have this chord, which is a beautiful uh, G major chord. And we are playing it with the note G, the G, and the A as well. So we play the root note and the major nine, but then we're gonna lower the G on fret five down to a fret number four. So we play the F sharp. It's such an interesting chord. Now the rhythmic approach is the same. We still have each chord played eight times and it's always downstrokes. And on the fourth time, we're gonna play the full chord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. change chord one two three four five six seven eight sometimes I like to play also the open strings on the seventh count just like the second and the third string open you can let it ring out Now let's keep playing with different voicings. We're gonna change the singing note of the chord again. And we have the B minor now with seven, seven and seven on the third and second string. We have this lovely A6 with five, um, six and seven, and the G6 with three, four and five. Now one thing that you can hear uh, in this section is the fact that I like to strum the chord on the seventh count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 And then we have this phrase, uh, which is played with octaves um, on the fret number two and four, four and six, and five and seven. 
And then we get into a completely different section. This one is quite challenging because of the chord shape. So, quite challenging. Uh, we can actually... Chords are quite, uh, you know, stretchy here. We got five, five, seven, six, and three. And then for the G, we got three, five, four, and two. Uh, it's all played with down strokes, but I'm gonna show you a way to simplify this. So we have the A major chord, and we're gonna go on the frets five, seven on the fourth string, and six on the third string. Then we have the fourth string again, and the third string, fret number seven, and then fret six, fourth string, fret number seven, and the third string again. So. But everything is palm muted. And it's the same thing. But it's not that stretchy. It rings out less, but it's, you know, a better way of playing it. We do the same thing for the G. The only difference is that we note, the note that we add on the third string is on the fret number six. lovely G major chord with the major 7 here, which is 3, 0, 0, 7, and 0. It's kind of quite stretchy, you can finish with the G if you want. 